Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. Today I bring you an art journal page that I created. Um, we're going to be using some Jane Davenport watercolors. We're also going to be using some deco art uh, media acrylics and uh, we're going to have some fun. So the first thing I'm doing now is pretty much uh, just rough sketching a face. Um, just seeing how I like you know the look of the face and just trying to get the eyes and everything else um, in a place where it feels comfortable for me. And that's pretty much what you see me doing. I'm using a regular basic pencil to do this. Um, I usually just grab my basic, you know, regular number two pencils whenever I'm going to sketch. Um, unless I'm doing something else, you know, like a, a deeper type of sketch, then I'll use my other type of sketch pencils. But um, for basic things like this, uh, pretty much this is what I do. Now, the journal that you see me using is, um, it's, uh, what is it called? It's a Canton watercolor uh, paper pad. And it is a cold press. Um, it brings 30 sheets and it's a 9 by 12. And I converted this into an art journal by folding all of the pages in half and then gluing them uh, to the center. So I made myself a little uh, kind of like a, a more portable type of a sketchbook, um, you know, watercolor journal, you know, art journal. So here I have um, some clear water. I know the cup looks filthy, but that's pretty much because I use that for everything when it comes to cleaning my brushes, to so using it for water, so on and so forth. And here I'm just using some of the, Dan the Jane Davenport watercolors. I will try to tell you which are the colors that I am using um, just by looking at my palette, which I'm pulling it open now. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to tell you guys uh, some of the colors that I used to create this. Um, I used uh, the vitamin C, which is like a little bit of an orange. I also use the color sand, the color buff, and the color cocoa uh, for most of the water coloring on her face. So that's what you're going to see me pull out. I do end up using um, from her other watercolor pad a little later on. I will end up using um, the color of butterfly as well as when I create the sky, I will use the color ink to do the water coloring in the sky. Um, and these are the Jane Davenport little portable uh, watercolor palettes. The brushes that I am using are, let's see if it has a name. And these are the Artist Loft um, brushes that I'm using to create this and the size, because I will end up using two different sizes on this page are, um, the first one that I started off with is size number two. And the next one that I will use, let's see here, if I find it, I might have put it away already. Let's see. Yep, I might have put it away already. So that's the one that I have handy. So it's um, the Artist Loft watercolor brushes, which I received from my friend Mom to Create. And I will be applying the matte medium later on with the Royal and Lang Nickel um, size 8 brush, which is the square brush, the square flat brush. So pretty much to talk to you a little bit about what uh, inspired this piece. Um, initially, I was trying to just, you know, kind of doodle around and um, whenever I'm feeling a certain, you know, kind of like in a mode, um, I usually tend to go towards drawing um, to kind of help me to pretty much get myself back into my mojo. Um, and I really wanted to play around with some of these watercolors. And um, it just so happened that I bumped into this journal that I haven't played with in a while. And I was like, you know what, it's the perfect time uh, to go ahead and play with some watercolors. And so that is pretty much what I decided to do for this page here. And I must say that um, initially my idea was just to, you know, rough sketch a face and not get too, too fancy, but I kind of let myself just kind of go and get carried away. And I, I jumped into the world of, you know, just painting and watercoloring. Um, and I love how this page turned out. Now, what you see me using here is acrylic by Deco Art, and it is from the Crafters Acrylic, and the color is natural beige. I will also go ahead and play around with Deco Art uh, Americana Decor, and the color will be Timeless. And those are the two colors that you see me putting on the background. 
<laughs> I more or less was looking for a skin tone. So instead of just um, kind of wasting the paint, I decided to add it to the background and then see which one of the two I like the best. And um, now I'm applying it. I watered it down some and now I'm applying it to her face. Now the brown color that you see me using here is by Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics and the color is Burnt Umber. Again, I wanted to keep it somewhat watercolory, um, so I added a lot of water. My brush was um, constantly being dipped in water, even though you don't really see much water on the tray itself. I kept my water, my brush really, really wet, um, and I only clean the brush every now and then just to keep uh, some of that moisture. <laughs> so pretty much this page in, in whole was both uh, with watercolor and acrylics uh, to complete the entire page. So it's very mixed media in that way. I will also be adding some collage later on. So as I started kind of to um, get carried away here, right, and I went into my little land, um, and as usual, I like to make up a story to go along with um, the things that I, you know, that I paint. Um, it, for me, it's almost like inevitable. I always somehow end up making up some kind of a story. So uh, the story behind her is that she's actually, believe it or not, a mountain. Um, and her hair um, is supposed to represent like the smoke um, from kind of like a mountain slash volcano. Um, and she's beautiful and she's full of wonder and all these different things. Um, and this is why her hair kind of trails off and you don't know how far kind of like her hair goes. Um, it just kind of trails off into the distance there. And so I pretty much decided to turn her into a mountain and I just kind of, um, you know, didn't need to emphasize anything to do with shoulders or any other specific body features. I just pretty much worked on her face, um, which is supposed to represent like the top of the mountain. <laughs> I know I'm so odd, right, you guys? Um, and so, you know, the, the whole thing behind this is that sometimes I feel like a mountain Sometimes I feel like a volcano um, in the sense of sometimes I feel really, really strong. But sometimes at the end of the day, the weakness gets the best of you, right? Um, just like a volcano, when it gets to its weakest point, it erupts. Because uh, to me, when a volcano erupts, it's like it's losing everything, right? Um, it's losing its inner core. And to me, that is not strength. Even though it erupts, you know, very strongly, to me, that's almost like a sign of weakness because you let it out, right? Um, you let it all out. You couldn't control it anymore. You couldn't hold it anymore. So it all comes out. So that's pretty much the premise of this page. And so the background, um, the color that I use is the color ink. Uh, that's the blue that you see there by the James Davenport. And this is why the background is kind of blue because it's supposed to represent um, like the sky. I didn't want to make it really nice and blue and pretty, um, like a very beautiful sunny day. And I didn't want it to make it too, too dark and too night. Um, because pretty much she's in this phase of transition, right? Uh, where things are not necessarily as pretty as they can be, but they're also not as bad as they could be. So that's pretty much what she represents. And I was going to create more of a landscape with her, but as I looked to the side of me, I saw some scraps <laughs> and of course we never throw scraps away. Right? So I went ahead and just opted to, you know, uh, enhance her beauty a little bit. And I added some butterflies. So I'm going to do a little bit of collaging here. And what I'm using to collage is the Heavy Gel Medium by Deco Art, which is an awesome, awesome medium, you guys. Oh, my God. I love this thing. <laughs> I just love it. Um, and so I kind of started adding a little bit of collage into the page here and there. I didn't go too, too crazy with the collaging, but I did go ahead and just add some fun little elements to just bring a little bit more color um, into the page itself. And... I'm going to go ahead and blend those papers with the butterflies into her hair um, by using some uh, Deco Art Media Line of the Burnt Umber, right? That's the color. Yep, Burnt Umber. So overall, it was just a good way for me to kind of pass the time and just, for me, painting is a, a very serene kind of a thing, right? Like it really definitely takes me out of everyday life and puts me in a completely different place altogether. Um, and so here I'm just adding different strips of just different papers that I think match um, the colors that I'm already using. Um, and luckily I did have some collaging elements that kind of went really, really well uh, with the overall page. And so that's what I used. <laughs> um, so definitely, you know, it's a good way to use up your scraps. And also some papers that I printed off the computer. So I do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of printing every now and then from the computer. And I, 
I save them and I, you know, whenever I need them, I'll use them up. Sometimes I don't want to go into my expensive paper pads and printing for me. It's just sometimes a little bit uh, cheaper. Now, what you see me doing now is I'm kind of starting to bring out most like her facial feature, her facial features. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Um, and I'm using the Fabric Castell Pip Pens. And I've used several different Pip Pens to do this um, because they all have different thicknesses and different line weights. I've also gone ahead and used some of my uh, color pencils, which are the Marco Refine, which are the color pencils of choice for me. I love coloring with them. There's just They just go over so well, pretty much over any and all mediums. Um, so I use these pencils to pretty much, uh, you know, bring some color into her life. Now, they do not say the names of the colors, so I won't say what the colors are, but you can more or less see that I'm using a uh, dark brown, um, a lighter brown. I'm using like a fuchsia type of pink. I'm using a lavender color. I'm using, I'm also using like an aqua color and a peachy kind of color. And as far as the Fabric Castell markers, I am using... Uh, I used different line weights in the black, and then I went ahead and used, um, in the colored ones, I used Caput Mort Mortem, um, and let me see if I find the other one, and the other one is <clears throat> Raw Umber, um, so those are the two browns that I am using on this fabric, I mean, of the fabric style pit pens on her hair. And I decided to add a little bit of texture to it, so I'm going to do some dotting and just some light kind of doodling. It's mainly dotting, dotting and kind of like letting the marker kind of slide a little bit here and there. Just to add like some kind of a trail or something, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when you, when you go off into this world, you'll get carried away. Um, but more or less, it's just a lot of playing and a lot of having fun. And then after this, um, I tried using that marker there that you see me using. It's a, one of those Dollar Tree markers that you buy in the pack of like four. It didn't really work too well for me because I had applied medium, the gel medium. Then it didn't really want to take um, some of the watercolor, which is what I was going to go back into it with. It took it in some places, but not everywhere because of the gel medium. Um, I should have thought of that before. So what I end up doing is actually grabbing that um, umber, that burnt umber in the media line, the Decor Food Acrylics. And now I'm going to start trying to bring that paper, that whiteness of that paper, somewhat into the background. And by the background, I mean her hair. By kind of blending it all in and just letting the butterflies show. Which I think I did a pretty good job overall of doing that. I did have to go a little bit heavier in some places with the color. In some places, I was able to water it down a little bit and not go so heavy. Um, but pretty much, it's just a little bit of water, you know, diluting that, that, that media line of fluid acrylic and which is very easy because it's already of a loose consistency as it is. And then just kind of, you know, dapping it on. You don't necessarily need to have any kind of painting skills to do this, you guys. Um, I just pretty much dap the paint on. Just dap, dap, dap <laughs> throughout the whole thing. Here I'm just kind of removing the little bits and pieces. And we are almost done with this page, you guys. Um, I really do hope that you have enjoyed. And you definitely give it a thumbs up. Definitely leave your comments uh, down below. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. So here what I'm doing is just pretty much adding my sentiment. And um, I kept it simple and I just wrote, sometimes I feel like a mountain. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a mountain. <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that for now. Because um, she's kind of erupting, but she still looks very peaceful. So I didn't want to put the volcano part. But that's what the thing is all about at the end of the day. Um, hopefully you'll look at her and be able to see where the whole aspect of a mountain came from. If not, I mean, that's okay. It's art journaling at the end of the day. And it's just another way to pretty much um, kind of get some free therapy out of it, right? So overall, this is what this page is for today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, definitely leave me your feedback. And let me know if you want to see more pages like this. Um, I really love to do art journaling and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and yes, I'm just finishing off the page now with a little bit of doodling. I'm going to add a little bit of white around her nose. Um, just go into, you know, add a little bit more shading here and there with the colored pencils, which are great for this. Um, a little bit of doodling in white with my Signal Uniball pen, which is an awesome white gel pen. In case you guys haven't um, seen it or know about it, you guys should definitely get it, especially if you want to have something that writes really well over many, many different surfaces. Um, especially since you're doing like, you know, mixed media and stuff like that. So 
yeah you guys this is about done woohoo follow me on instagram if you don't follow me already it's at design elemental i do a lot of previews to my projects and i also share a lot of close-up pictures of the projects that i have done and videos that i have done and even sometimes things that i have not made videos for um usually you'll get a sneak peek there first um before it becomes public here so definitely a good place to know what's what's going to be happening so thank you guys so so much for watching and i will definitely catch you on the next one till then stay blessed bye